Welcome to Sidin Institute. In our today's tutorial, we are going to answer question one on tutorial sheet one, which is just actually the last question in this tutorial. So this question is on binary operation. So the question lead consider the set D to be equal to E A B C with operation star on heat as defined below in the table which we have been given there. Then Question one we've been asked to determine if a star is binary on D. To determine if a star is binary on B, we are going to we are going to check we are going to check if if an identity exists. Okay. So so an identity is when we multiply. We multiply any number, okay? We say x, x is the e, should give us x. Okay, what I mean is that any number we multiply by e should give us the same number. If that is going to happen, that means um, an inverse do what? Do exist. So, let's start by e star e okay so we come here e e star e is giving us a where is the point of intersection is at e okay so here we are having the same e what about a star e where is a star e meeting so from a from a to e e we are meeting at here we are having also a what about b b star e where is b and e meeting okay so b is e and e is in the first column we are having b also what about c okay c star e we are also meeting e because we have C and we have A in E. So we are also having C. We can see that multiplying C by E, we are also having C. Same applies to this delay. So you can say that uh, since the the I and the identity exists, star is is binary. Okay. Star is binary on E on D. Okay. So now let's find the question. Let's let's solve question um, question two. So to show if um if this is star is associative, we are going to to write the associative law, which states that a star b star c is equal to a star b then star c. So it is just the same, but associative law differs by the order. Okay, like this. So what we are going to do? We are going to do this. What is B is the C? Okay, B, B is the C. We are going to move B up to where C is. Okay, C is in this column. So we are meeting at A. So B is the C. We have B is the C. We have A. Okay, what about A star B? A up to B, we have E. Okay, meeting at E is there. Then star C. What is A star A? Okay, A star A, when we start at A up to A, we see that we are meeting at C there. To be equal to A. What about E star C? Okay. E star C. E. You can see we're starting E up to C. We are meeting at C. So you can you can say that since C is equal to C, both A, A this expression is equal to this, then you can say that star is what? Is associative. Okay. Easy associative so this is how simple you can 
find associative law so associative law doesn't matter you can even start with a star b star c you can start like this you say a a star b you close like this it's one and the same no difference there so let's now do this question okay This question now we have been asked to evaluate. Okay. We are asked to evaluate A, A star B, then C star A. Okay. Let me try to delete something here. Okay. What is A star B? A star B, we are going where A and B are meeting. They are meeting at E, E. So it is E star. What about sister A? Sister A meeting A. Okay. They are meeting at B. What is E star B? We, we tested to say E. E star B was giving what? B. We can even see E. E star B is C. B A. So this is what how we can evaluate this kind of what of an expression. Now uh, the follow-up question is to determine if uh, if uh, x inverse exists. Okay. So to determine if x inverse exists, what we do? We know that already to the first step to determine if x inverse exists if an inverse exists we need to know if an identity exists okay now from the first question we knew that an uh, an, an identity was existing because multiplying x was giving uh, x multiplying a with e was giving a so what we do even here we are going to to find now um we are going to find an inverse. What do we know about an inverse? We say x x is the x is the y. When x is the y give us e, okay? When x is the y give us e, it means y is the inverse of x. This is what we do. Okay. So our first thing, since we are, we want to find the inverse of each element here we have e we have e we have a b and c so the inverse of e okay the inverse of e um, is we say a we say e times e because e is meeting at e e with e okay and we are having we are having e so we can tell to say we can say that the inverse the inverse of e is actually e you can see that we are following uh, this form okay we are following this form we say this one becomes x and this one becomes y so this is the inverse of this because we said that y is the inverse of x Okay, let's now talk about B. We know that A is the B, okay? A is the B. A is the B. A is the B is equal to E. They are also meeting at E. So that means this one is what has been satisfied. So we are going to say that B is the inverse b is the inverse of a we are following this we are we said y is the inverse of x so even here b is the inverse of x because we are having e as our answer what about b b star a okay b star a is is also giving us e okay because b and e and a are also meeting here so b is the a and a star b is one and the same so that means 
the inverse of a is b. So this means they are inverse of each other. What about c? c is just the same as b. When you look about e, we move c, we are meeting c e. Okay? Once we meet c e, we are having e. So it's the same as like the way we had at e. Star e. So we are going to say e, I mean c, star c, is equal to e. So we are going to say that and the inverse of c is actually c. So by, by so doing, then we completely answer this question in its phonics. So what, we, what they need, we want to show the inverse of c, the inverse of a, the inverse of b, and the inverse of e. So this is the end of our today's tutorial on question one on binary operation. So if you find this video help, please consider subscribing. Okay. You subscribe to the channel. You also give this video a like so that it may reach other people. You also hit the notification button so that you may not miss out new uploaded videos. If you may need all answers to this tutorial sheet. Okay. If you may need all answers to this tutorial sheet, this is a tutorial sheet with a lot of answers. Okay. Let me start from one. Yeah. So question one, it is on sets on how you can present sets on the number line. Question two, same. Question three, it talks about how we can uh, apply laws of uh, set field like uh, De Morgan's law. Question four. Question four. You state whether a set is a finite or an infinite set. Set B. Set B is also about um, illustrating as uh, information on the Venn diagram. You also find uh, this kind of operations. Same as question question six. Very important on how you can um how you can shed different kind of graphs uh over sets this is the sets you need to shed here in this now you you define you can describe using sets builder uh, using set notation how can you define this kind of questions that is question question six all these kind of questions so if you need answers to this tutorial sheet okay drop a comment more especially to reach me you can whatsapp me on this number okay or if you may need personal tuitions you can also whatsapp me on the same number i can add you to the group where we you will be able to attend online lessons this is also now question seven 7a De Morgan's law at law then question b is on simplifying different kind of sets then here you express this in the form of x over a very important in in your exam then question b how can you prove uh irrational numbers by contradiction method also a variable question b and c it is now on SADS and rationalizing the denominator. Question 10. All the way. All the way to, to question 15 and 16. Even 17. There we have equations. We have uh, modulus equations. We have radical equations we have rational equation and inequalities it is all on on functions up to what we were doing today so thank you for watching if you find this video help like i said consider subscribing to the channel you like the video you also hit the notification button so that you may be updated about the new uploaded videos thank you for watching see you in the next video